Hi, I'm Dr. Youssef. I'm going to show you, be showing you this uh, Malian ring case. Uh, I skipped the part that's not important. The, this is the Malian being implanted. Uh, I engage the, the nasal part first, and I would rotate the lens, the uh, the injector slightly uh, superiorly and posteriorly to engage the upper one, and the and then after that I. We we'll rotate the other opposite side inferiorly to engage the lower one, and then to dislodge the the nasal one, uh, the temporal one will I'll just rotate it 90 degrees so that it uh, dislodges us from the injector. Mm -hmm. And for the trailing part the of the ring, I would use the manipulator that comes with it, or um, the mushroom or button or the McPhee, uh, my preference now is the McPherson because it controls it well. See, it's slipping off the uh, the the, uh, the manipulator. So uh, the best is actually to hold it with the McPherson and just place it directly. Uh, I'll put a video later for that. To take it out after we implant the lens, <coughs> I would dislodge uh, the upper one first actually and then the the sub incisional one then the inferior one will come at the wound and that's what I uh, uh, would uh, uh, draw out first so the upper one sub incisional one and then the inferior one is the one that goes uh, out with the cartilage so I'll hold it and it's very important to hold both parts of the ring not just one part otherwise it will hook the wound and you don't have to draw it completely into the uh, injector. The rest of the surgery is pretty routine. I was just going to speed up through that. Uh, you can see that the uh, lens goes position and uh, the pupil is okay. Uh, regular. There's no uh, uh, too much peaking of the pupil as we see sometimes with the hooks, because the uh, the malugan will pr produce an eight-point uh, support. The wounds are hydrated. Thank you very much.